Nothing yet. Ace is still high. And Vent is sitting back. He can't believe it. He needs a king. He needs a nine. It's a spade. Neither one of these guys has a spade, Roy. No, nope. only a king or a nine. Martin Vent on the edge of the precipice, pulling. Four spade doesn't matter. Two pair on the end, and Martin Vent is out. He's the hot favorite from start until the end. And now out in third, he'll pick up 200,000. Vent sticking them all in. He found a pretty big hand, but Jones, courageous call. And Vent needed to hit, he didn't. Jacks and sevens beaten jacks only. And can lightning strike twice? Well, how about half a dozen times? We are head up here at the Poker Million, the final table. Looking at this head-to-head -head graphic, Helen has the chip lead. She's ahead of nearly every graphic. Hands well, one, they're pretty close. Nothing between them now, apart from pink chips and current chips. Essentially played the same amount of hands, one or roughly the same amount of, even the heartbeat. All barring a, a few dots, and it's the same. But Tony Jones has introduced raising pre-flop. He never knew that move before, and he has started to raise as it got shorter and shorter handed with no cards. Mightily impressive. He really couldn't call it, although Helen has to be favored, obviously, with the bigger chip stack. And if you're a believer in destiny, Helen Chamberlain has been walking that golden yellow brick road to the Wizard of Oz. At every time. stage in this tournament. Oh, oh, come here. But the poker <laughs> she's played in. <laughs> well, these and guys. What was that your family were going to do? Easy. Like, yeah. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shut up. <laughs> We've gotten silly. A game for a million dollars right here, Roy. Never say never. This is life changing stuff. Tony Jones' life has been changed already. Well, they are head to head now. Blinds 20 yeah, and 40,000. Small blind oh, is on the button. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tony doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> Helen's announced raise. She will never lose her aggression. 
Edwards. What a tiger she has been. More. Okay, so 140 total. Yeah. Uh, uh, Grace, oh, I, I see. 100,000 more, 140 yeah, total. Yeah. Just slipping 140,000 oh, around hey. like it's only so much. And Tony Jones has peeling off a flop. This pot's already 300,000. Well, oh, this is a quarter of the chips in play. Stuff. He was doing Flop the tell all here. And that's Tony Jones. Second pair. He may just push. All in. All in. He has. Oh, Pass. Quick fall from Helen. And uh, that'll even things just about, Roy. Yeah, absolutely. That was so, so bizarre. I think Marty may have told Helen, when your head's up, you want to be aggressive. No one told Tony Jones that script. Heads up. It, I mean, that's completely different from playing when you've still got six on the table. But, you know, you can go in with any two cards, heads up, go all in, get called, and it's just a luck of the draw. So, I mean, hopefully it won't come to that. It depends on how many chips you've got. You know, if you've got twice as much chips as the other person, then you can afford to take that chance once. If you haven't, then you've got to wait for your hand. So, again, if I get heads up, I will be over the moon. Well, it is a different person. game, heads up. But <laughs> Helen Chamberlain, <laughs> she won the celebrity qualifier. She won her heat. She won her semifinal. She won a one table against the World Series of, champ of Poker champion. And now here she is with a chance to win another heads Christ. up and a million Race. dollars because of it. But Tony Jones hit part of that last flop. The, the he realized head to head, if I make one pair, that's a big hand. Pass. He's nicked this one off of Helen. And now he's got the chip lead. The warehouse worker from Essex. And what a great story. Yeah. <laughs> this is for Tony Jones. <laughs> but there's not much in it. 664. Helen's got 536. Are they just playing according to instinct, Roy? I mean, what, what's going on in their heads right now? Is it all so busy? Well, we saw Helen earlier on hit a flop, hit middle pair. It was only a pittance of a middle pair. She moved all in. We've just seen Tony yes. Jones do exactly the same. So they now realize, obviously, if they've got a bit of a flop heads up, they've got a relatively big hand. The and dead level on chips. And there is some play in this. I mean, the blinds are big, but with 1.2 million on this table. Yeah, what are the blinds? So 20, 40. 5% of the chips in like play the before the cards are dead. <laughs> now I'm going to come back next year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As reigning champion. Do you get invited back if you. <laughs> I think it's how well behaved you are. <laughs> no, oh, of course right. you do. <laughs> Been well behaved, Not Mr. a bad looking hand from Tony Jones. That's a bent sonnet hand, isn't it? Raise. He's an, oh, and Helen's got a pair. 100,000 more, 140, I'm all in. Wow. All in. <laughs> he can't call here. No, nope, this is where Helen takes the chip lead back. Now you can have it. <laughs> and she showed it. They are playing this. Heads up for a $600,000 difference in first and second. And you know, oh no, that's showing oh, yeah. Showed it. So I quite enjoy heads up actually, because by the <laughs> time I've got the heads up, I've played maybe four, four and a half hours of poker, and I do get to the stage where I just don't care anymore. I just want to go home. Um, so I, I, it probably works to my advantage because I just go, ah, shove them all in. And, um, you know, maybe I scoop up a few blinds and things from just being a little reckless rather than aggressive. Because when it's heads up, you can't affect it. Reckless action. aggression. Oh, something and that's a scary <laughs> thing to well. play against. Pink against orange here. And Roy Helen is doing what she has to do, but Tony is with her every step of the way so far. And you just can't believe what they're playing for. This is for the entire bag of marbles. One million dollars, and you're seeing raise and re-raise like Pass. they're playing for matchsticks. What an inspiration Helen Chamberlain is to any aspiring poker player. Yeah, it takes experience, but more important, 
is having a heart where it counts. And a little bit of poise. A whole lot of game. And Tony right. Jones in here for nothing, Roy. Yeah, I'm wondering if Tony's employers are watching because uh, he's made it known if he wins, you can put his P45 in the post for him. <laughs> Take that forklift. Race. Race. Fork it. 100,000 more, 140 yeah, total. Pass. So these two just dancing right now. Only one flop has been played so far, head up. Bouncing back and forth. The raises before the flop, determining who gets the blinds. Shuffle, deal, and steal here. And they were chatty like chipmunks when it started, but now six hands into this head up. Is it all becoming clear what's at stake? I mean, how do you keep it together, Roy? There's a breeze blowing through, and Helen there with a jack laying it down. There's little conversation, is there? What can you say to someone? Stop. You're playing for a million, I'm playing for a million. There you go, 600,000 a difference. I've got 600,000 each. All right, is that a... Yeah. It's not just... You've got more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not just a little wage at stake here. It's nearly a career. Raise. Hundred thousand more, one forty-two. Hundred thousand pocket pair. And Helen's going, going all in. in. Cool. Yay. Cool. Come on, then. Wow. <laughs> it's fifty-fifty. Who's got more chips? Tony Jones has the most chips, and he is the marginalist of favourites here. And you wouldn't know it on their faces. Everything is happening. All the money's in the centre. It's a king or a nine. It's not. Tony Jones from Essex is two cards away from this poker million million. <laughs> Helen's praying for the king. She needs the nine. Jones says, hold them. Keep them low. Oh, <laughs> everything riding on one card, Roy. One million dollars, the pride of Romford. He'll be giving the keys to the town if this one comes off. It's the river. There are six cards in the deck for Helen Chamberlain, or else she's in second. <laughs> and we have a winner! We have a winner of the Poker Million! It's Tony Jones! He's done it! One million dollars. There's Mrs. Tony Jones. Look at that. Her poor son asked for a guitar. Daddy, can I have a guitar? If you win the Poker Million, son, you can have what you want. This guy's going to buy his motorbike, buy his villa, give up his job. I'm absolutely delighted for him. And he has done it by playing good poker. Helen Chamberlain, she'll get 400,000 for a second. And kudos to Hell's Bells, but here is the man from Rumford. No warehouse anymore. He has played some poker, and I think the emotion is spilling out now. From 10 pounds a week, Roy, up to a million dollars in cash. He was in this tournament for nothing. <laughs> Zilch Zip, a free roll on the sponsor's website. It's cost him absolutely nothing. And look at this, a pair of fives versus King Nine for all the marbles and a million dollars. I mean, that last hand went bang, bang, bash. You know, I guess that's what it was going to come down to, but a 50-50 shot. And uh, Helen Chamberlain, two over cards, but she couldn't squeeze them sideways from the deck. Two pairs, queens and fives. How long will Tony Jones remember that hand for? And a big hug between them. Classy stuff here. Helen, second with a meager Four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Where's Matt Marty? Get in here, Marty. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Well done. Thank you well very done. much. And I'm chilled to bits for that bloke as well. Tony, Nathan, you got your range a slightly over. less meagre, 
million bucks. Congratulations, Thank sir. Well done. <laughs> Come on in. Check. Give me a big check. <laughs> Proof that dreams can and do come true. Tony Jones, who qualified via the internet, wins the big one. The Ladbrokes.com Poker Million 2005.